Hi, welcome. Today I would continue talking about uh, TPL data flow and uh, specifically I wanted to discuss how to enable cancellation and you can read about cancellation in the documentation obviously but let's get started here. So I've created a starter program in a class called cancel example and I'm going to just call this method start and let me show you what it does. So what I'm going to do is create something uh, of a task here and I'm going to call it a console task and it's going to run this method basically in a while loop forever and it is going to read a character from the console if the character is C it will say cancellation request of input is O means over it will break out of this loop and will be done basically this task and uh, towards the end of the program I'm just waiting for this console task to finish so that way if we get an O the cancel task will be finished and will be done in the main loop and will exit the whole program. Uh, in terms of the TPL data flow what I've done here is I've created a producer block which is basically a buffer block and I can show you the code. It uh, calls a constructor for the buffer block and it accepts input as an in integer messages and it returns that so that's all good. Uh, then I'm going to basically uh, post some 10 uh, messages 0 through 9 and to this buff producer block and if any of them fails I'm going to rate post failed. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, connect this producer block to a consumer block so I've created a consumer block and I just give it a name God here and producer block is linked to consumer block and I'm also propagating all the completions. If you are new to propagate completions you can watch one of my earlier videos where I discussed how to do this. So here I'm uh, completing the producer block and once the consumer block is complete I call this method called print status and you can see it here it, it's got basically the task and the name. If the task is faulted it says uh, that task faulted and it uh, prints some information about the exception otherwise it just say uh, the task is done and that's pretty much it. So let's just uh, review and see how this works and I'm going to run this program uh, for now so we can see how uh, it is behaving. So as you can see it will going to be starting in the action block if I press C it says cancel request and if I say O oh, it's all over. So that's pretty much uh, what the program does. So now let's uh, modify this and show how to use uh, cancellation. So to demonstrate that I'm going to create a, a static uh, variable and I will call it new cancellation uh, token source and uh, this is how I got it and now obviously I need to create a variable and have a name for it. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I think I messed up here. Let's just do this. Cancel. So I've uh, created a static variable called cancel and we'll give it a cancellation token source. So obviously when we get a cancel request, we want to tell our source that we want to cancel. So to do this, you can basically invoke the cancel method and that's all you really need to do. So this is uh, from our console task we are telling that we want to cancel whatever we were doing in the TPL data flow. So now how do we consume this cancellation? So to do that uh, there are several methods but I will take a quick and easy way to show you how to do it. So whenever you create the block you can uh, in this particular case uh, you can specify execution data flow block options and I'm going to do that and uh, one of the options is obviously called cancellation token and I'm going to provide our cancel uh, token we had uh, so here is my cancel token and that's all we really need and it's a, since it's a cancellation token source we need to give it the token not the cancellation token source so in our action block we are essentially specifying a cancellation token and that's pretty much all you need to do. Other thing I wanted to just kind of do here that whenever task gets completed we also want to uh, know if it was cancelled uh, besides faulted. So I'm going to check for P is cancelled and just print out some information here as well and the information is going to be pretty straightforward console.write line and we'll follow our uh, typical method 
will have a interpolated name and then we will just say cancel so that way when uh, our task uh, is uh, cancelled we can see status and print it so if i just do this let's just see what happens and let me try to run this here so as you can see it is sending those messages now i want to see a cancel request and you can see it printed this message consumer is cancelled and we are not getting any further more messages so that is actually a pretty great way of doing cancellation in your tpl data flow and uh, what one thing i didn't demonstrate here is that you can get an execute uh, cancellation uh, token source exception uh, but uh, i just didn't uh, want to cover that in today's uh, demonstration so if you want to take a, a quick look i'm going to produce uh, and add this video under TPL data flow cancellation. And thank you for watching this short screencast and your great day.